David, at this point in your career, you have been in many of training camps. Where does this one training camp rank for you? It has to be number one. It has to be number one because, number one, it's present, you know. It's so present being it's a gift, you know, having, having, this is my eighth training camp. So I just, I'm, I'm so grateful. May God have all the glory and let's get after it. Now, when you're out there on the football field, what are you working on? Because you're to that place now where people are giving you, I believe, your proper recognition. So when you're out there on the football field, what are you thinking of from working? I'm going to work on this today. Do you take that approach or is it generally just put, I'm just going to go out there and apply myself? Really everything. Yeah, everything. Uh, now, some days I'll have, per, you know, more precise things that I, I work on, but I don't think I perfected anything regarding being a tight end. And I just want to be the best I can be. Now, last week we had the Vikings in town. That was heated from a last preseason game standpoint to versus having a team come visit you for practice, where do you think it ranks far as the level of intensity? Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Every every year we have we have a, a joint practice, it's awesome. It really shows, or it's it's a showcase of what you really have, you know what I mean? Because you don't really want to go full balls to the wall with your teammates, you know? So having a different team come in and really trying to showcase what you can do, it's, it's awesome. Now I consider you to be one of the leaders on the squad. For you, when do you feel that position as a leader really took hold and you said to yourself, you know what, I am that guy and I need to apply myself in that regard. You know, honestly, just as the years went by, you know, I, I just, even, even when I wasn't the starter, I, I just always found it necessary to be more vocal. You know, I feel like the, the, the team really listens, you know, when I'm, when I'm screaming, when I'm saying whatever I got to say, just to, you know, energize the team, I feel like they, they really soak that in. So whatever I can do for the team to get them better is what I have to do. It's year eight. You've seen the ups, year you've seen the eight. downs. Eight. That's right, year eight, and he's still holding strong. From that point of reflection, what has been so, for you, intriguing about your process and what you've been through through the course of that time? I feel like the game definitely slowed down tremendously. You know, from year one to year eight, the game slowed down. It's more so of, uh, you know, how to do than what to do. And I feel like that's really one of the biggest steps you can take in this game is uh, from knowing how to do something to what to do is, is, is a huge jump. And for you locally, and I got to imagine nationally as well, your presence is felt. When you're walking around town, what's it like interacting with the fans? Say you're going to a grocery store. Can you go to a grocery nah, store I, anonymous? No, I cannot go out here <laughs> to a grocery store, no. The fans are electric, uh -huh. you know, so I have to understand that wherever I go, I'm going to get that electricity anywhere in Cleveland, Ohio. And what excites you about this final preseason game as we look forward to Dallas Cowboys coming into town after that? Exactly what you just said. Final preseason game, almost week one, almost Dallas Cowboys time, and we're ready to go. Thank you, David, for your time. Thank you so much.